Good morning. I'm going to start off with an apology. The past couple of videos I've filmed, I've realised I'm out of sync of things. I'm throwing the camera around too much. I am not showing clearly what I'm doing and actually showing myself doing stuff. I've got back in the routine of going, I'm going to do the socket and then show you guys after I've done the socket and not the actual doing. So we're going to start fresh today. This is going to be a day in the life of an electrician. A uh, bit of a different one. My lad went to France trip last night. Uh, so we got dropped at the school at quarter past 12 this morning should we say uh, so we started off to a great day so i said to my other half i'll get i'll take my daughter to school um so she can have a bit of a lie in so we've done that it's 20 past nine which is a bit late for us to work but where we're doing some fault finding at this commercial property the uh the guy's caught in traffic so he was like i won't get it till nine because he had to drop his kids off so we're going to do fault find on a light circuit it's a line circuit that's tripping constantly there's a fault find on the electric shower so we're gonna have a look at that we're going to end up over to a customer's house that we've worked at loads of times, friends for years, to move a socket because there's a radiator in the, going in the wall. Then we're going to nip over to my other half's uh, Nan's house. Uh, oh, Nanny Pat, bless her. Uh, 94 years old. Um, there's a socket that's burnt out because the type of house that she has, it doesn't have any central heating. It used to have hot air system. I don't know how it works. That hasn't worked for years. So she has to plug in oil radiators. And because they're on 24-7, they keep burning the sockets out and uh, we also have an issue is she has got uh, dementia as well so she she doesn't quite know what she's doing uh, we're turning the timers on off um, at night time she just plays with all the electrics uh, it's the same thing i had to go recently and fit all brand new ring cameras around the house um, she has carers that come around we need to monitor anyone that's got elderly uh, grandparents or parents would know you're worried sick about them if you have the chance to make sure you can view them to make sure they're not falling over to make sure they're safe and everything like that or if they do you can get there as soon as possible that sort of thing so we're going to even sort that out and then need to go to the van and empty out because tomorrow i'm going to be fitting two ev chargers uh, with electrician but i'll wait for that uh, for that video to drop so we're going to film all that so yeah come with me jump along customers here now and i'm going to try and get as much footage as fault finding here as possible um but yeah once again apologies for the lack of uh, enthusiasm on any of the videos and uh yeah, the, the crap camera angles, so uh, today will be better. But already, my battery power bank tripod uh, is broken. It's the second one that's broken now from GoPro, so um, yeah. Me right, first things first. Lights in corridor. So the lights working everywhere else, except for one, two, three, four, five, which is very dark in here. So I'm going to start dropping a few down. And they're on sensors to my knowledge. I know there's a switch here, but everything seems to have built-in sensors. So we're going to drop a few, figure out what's going on. It's really bad lighting, isn't it? There we go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go and drop as many as I can, figure out what's going on. Uh, we've got a permanent live here with no neutral in it. This is like a live and an earth in the cable so yeah but the thing is this is a raised ceiling so I can stick my head up but I don't hold much hope for finding this easy to be honest right so I've got no obvious signs of anything that I can see but the way it's tripping and the way it's sort of popping straight away which makes me think it's a neutral earth fault but I can't see anything jumping out at me and it should just be these four lights so I might take a tile out well I might just disconnect the first one to make sure it's not the um, the feed over to it and the cable damage is the feed cable test that make sure that's okay and then we can start jumping between the lights and then maybe take a tile out but uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure yet so the fault's gone from it tripping I've dropped the lights down I've managed to reset the RCBO in here to now the front door and the upstairs corridor we're on, this one, you can see the LED here, and it keeps flashing, the bulbs are all knackered. But I've got no mains power to any of these four fins, like nothing. Not at the key switches, not at the switches, not at the bases, not at the permanent lives, nothing there whatsoever. So it should be fed off here, unless we've got a loose cable floating around in there. This is live, so I need to be careful. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab uh, my test from the other room, stick it across it, but it's very difficult for me to show you 
how I'm doing this. I know I said earlier, I'm just jumping between it. I can't really test, I don't have a tall tripod, I don't have a cameraman, or woman, or Adam, or Adam's mum with me. So, I mean, she is in the van. I, she probably doesn't want to film anything. Um, yeah, I'll jump back when I got an update. Right, I figured it out, finally. The, it's the key switches off. So someone's trying to isolate the fault before me has used a key switch. Domestic Spark, don't own a key switch. I, have, have, I guarantee I've got one in the unit, but they are this big. If you don't know what key switch is, if you are a Domestic Spark or you're learning, a key switch is a way to operate, manually operate and override emergency lights. So you would flick that off, it pulls the power so the emergency light fittings come on. It's a way of testing it and isolating the circuit at the same time. If you don't have one, you can't turn the power back on. So I'm gonna go and try and find one. Um, but what it was is the middle fitting down here, the neutral had come out and landed on the plate of that fitting. So obviously it was creating a neutral earth link, tripping the RCBO straight away. So as I've dropped the fittings, I didn't see it to start with, as I dropped the fittings and got through to this one, managed to get the power back onto this one because the fault had cleared itself, but the key switch was on. But the key switch only does lives. It's not a two pole isolator, it's only a single pole isolator. So the neutral nerve would always been connected through. So that's the problem solved there. I just now need to get this back up and working. So worst case scenario, I'll snip to the wholesalers. So I hadn't have fixed it. I started putting all that together and it tripped off. And I realized once I re-energized the power to it, thinking, oh, it's simple, no problem at all. See that water line all the way in there? I thought that outside light was it, but this outside light here is connected into this circuit and it's absolutely full of water. So let's get the steps out here and get that poured off. So <laughs> this is the aftermath, still dripping. It's even got like gunky mold in it. I'll put the picture on, well, the video on now, I've just took as a short because I couldn't like say hold it with my GoPro one hand and whatnot. But uh, I'm just gonna need to try and bend this off because this hinge is out, but the uh, hinges here are completely corroded. Also, I infected my finger the other week. Look how fat it is. I'm gonna go to doctors later. It's the worst pain I have ever. I'd rather cut it off, it hurt less. Nice. Right, after figuring out how to get it off, there's like three screws pinching it in. I've just snipped these off because I'm just gonna block them off for now. I haven't got time today to change the life in, but this is the reason you would have a drainage hole. A drainage hole is a little hole you put underneath, so if water ever ingresses from the top or throughout the seals, it can drip out rather than filling up. You can see it was at least a third of the way up and corroded all the connections. This has been like this for a very long time, especially for the fact that there's sludge in it. It like sludged up and reacted, so, it's been like this for a long time. This building has been empty, to my knowledge, for at least a year. So it sort of makes sense. Uh, someone's come, tried to isolate it, and did what they did with the key switch. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to block these off, put that back, double check all the fittings are happy, uh, the ICBO staying on. Uh, I've got my tester out, my new tester bag, which is coming out soon. Uh, give it a once over with that, and then give them a price. Price to change this over, because it can just be blocked off for now. And I'm also going to give them a price to put some LEDs all throughout the corridor. Um, just great because two of the light fittings don't work, they've burnt out. We can just change the lamps over. But they're just crap light fittings. Today's technology, LEDs all the way. I have now fixed the shower. One well, of the problem was this horrible button on the bottom, it doesn't like press properly. It's like a, it doesn't push in and out. It obviously just connects the center in the back, but this hose is pointed up. And I was like, oh, does it work? And then it wouldn't turn off because it's like lime scale build up, but that's now sorted. Sorted, On to the next job. Right, it's the afternoon. Uh, I've done the other jobs. I tried to record uh, the one moving the socket, uh, but the homeowner says there's other tradesmen in there. So I left the camera inside and I had to laugh because it was just painters and decorators uh, with the radio on. So I didn't film that. And then I went over to Nanny Pat's and did the socket. And uh, I put a picture of it before on the screen of what it looked like. And then as I took it off, this happened. And 
yeah, it completely fell apart. So uh, the wiring was all all right. There's no heat damage, nothing. I just think it was just affected the front of it. Is what it is. So now I'm onto this. This has been like this pretty much since uh, leading, a week leading up to Christmas. I keep bringing it here to undo it. I just haven't had, I've not been right myself. I'll be honest with you guys, I had a good chat with my other half uh, last Friday about it. Just, I don't know, mentally struggle with going back to work, mentally struggle with doing anything. I don't know why. Um, feeling loads better this week. You might be able to tell the energy on this video is completely different to the other ones, other than one that I did with Adam. I did enjoy that. But um, we kept getting asked to picked off to do all the bits around the house while we're trying to do the kitchen. That's why the job dragged on for so long, but it's okay. I'm gonna empty this out, I can run through a few things. I've already started doing the 100K giveaway. I've been emailing people bit by bit. I've been trying to do a post, uh, post one thing a week because there's so much stuff here still. I've still got half the tool bags here. Um, the Milwaukee stuff has gone to people. Um, my MB200s, the last one went last week. I'm now starting on the other Velocity tool bags. We've still got the Bosch SDS to go. Uh, we've got one drum of cable, uh, one the fire alarm cable left, um, and I think the first are fuse board. So keep your ears to the ground, check spam folds and whatnot, because I am doing it what bit by bit, so just keep your eye out. We are on to a winner. I was going to film me doing all this sort of stuff, but literally no one cares. Literally, I don't even care. But we're back at it again. We're looking good. We've got the MB200, fully stocked, fully loaded out, nice. MB100, my new tester bag, all ready and charged and clean. With the Velocity tool pod there. We've got some of our Milwaukee boxes back on there. We've cleaned the base out, we've cleaned the front out. Battery went flat because the power bank thing doesn't work. Uh, I was gonna run through a few things that I wanna speak. I know this is a talking video and I promise that I'm gonna start showing stuff off. I promise you we're getting there and tomorrow it's gonna be a wicked video. Two EV chargers, two different locations. I'm not working for myself, I'm subcontracting out. Uh, I'll explain the story tomorrow, how this all came about. Um, Unilite, I don't know if you've ever seen, people that watch TikTok a lot, and unfortunately I am one of the people that do. I don't really put anything on TikTok, as you know from my little channel I have. There was a massive fad with these tiny little lights that this company in China was selling, them, whatever. Unilite have, I don't say they've recreated, they've made a much better version anyway. So you've got magnetic base, excuse the banging in the back, on there. I know I showed you off the little one the other day, which is that one, but there's the price, size comparison. So I actually got asked for two, and one of them I'm going to stick to my uh, dog and pretzel's collar um, when we're walking. Because obviously it's still pitch black every time I walk in the morning or I get home in the evening, it's pitch black. And another thing, a, a sponsorship opportunity came through. Um, they're massive. They've got like half a million followers on Instagram. They messaged me the other day and said, oh, seems a picture of your dog. So you might see some stuff with pretzel. I lost a complete trail of thought here. ADHD mind, as usual. But the van is now ready to start doing. Next couple of days, I'm going to be in and here. We need to get rid of our tap. This is full, overflowing. I spoke to Green Cable, they are coming soon. That video is rocking and rolling. If there's anything that you guys actually want me to film so you can see, I can run through, I can talk about, that you'll find interesting or you just fancy knowing, let me know below. And I will feel obliged to, to do so. Um, anything that helps me film a bit more content that's a bit more different than usual. There's still other things that I'm planning in the background that are starting to cost quite a lot of money that I regret putting into for video's sake for the sake of it, but why not? That's why we do this. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.